Hey guys, Banning13 here. Now I've come here today to show you guys how to obtain the remote electrical charge gun in Batman Arkham Knight. Now you can obtain this gun very early on in game. You just need to go down to the GCPD building, which I've got circled in red there for you all. And we can just smash the glass case in the evidence room and get our electro gun, as I like to call it. Um, now you need this gun for several missions, mostly towards the end. The, if you're doing the Catwoman rescue missions, you will need it to do the last mission. So, once we're at the GCPD building, which we're here now, we go on in. And if you guys haven't been in this building yet, definitely come in, check it out. It's a lot of fun to explore. You can interact with some of the criminals you've locked up. You can interact with pretty much everyone in the building. If you're like me and you like to sort of explore a game fully and really be immersed, then this is for you. See, you can hear all the, the criminals making all sorts of comments. And we've got an interview room as well. So, I mean, you could sort of sit there and listen to the recording. I've done all that, so I'm just going to show you guys how to get the electrical charge gun. Metal detector. Gotham ain't going down yet, Batman. Thanks to you. I heard those so, evidence room's just here. They're easy to find. And there's a lot of cool references here to Batman villains. A lot of their weaponry and their items are locked up in the evidence room. Oh, there you are. Look, it's my stuff. So, this is my memorial. So, you see the Mad Hatter. Joker's stuff, dead shots, sniper rifle, a few other items. But where we want to go is just over here, and you'll see the electrical charge gun right there. Smash the case, and voila, we have the electrical charge gun. Now we can go on and complete the last Catwoman rescue mission, or the last Riddler trial.